The hot, humid North African coast is a breeding ground for hurricanes, but inland, it's a vast, dry desert air mass full of tiny suspended particles of dust and sand. Intense summer heat and thunderstorm systems over the Sahara Desert loft these particles way up into the atmosphere, up to 20,000 feet high. Every three to five days, strong winds push this dry, dusty Saharan air layer westward into the Atlantic. Dust can advance across the entire ocean, making for hazy days in the Caribbean, South Florida, and even as far west as Texas. Though scientists are still studying Saharan air's impact on hurricanes, this warm, dry, dusty air is generally thought to inhibit storm development. The dust limits the storm's access to moist air that it uses as its fuel. Saharan air also increases the strong winds that can tear apart a hurricane, disrupting its organization and weakening the storm. Now, on the other hand, recent research suggests that injecting Saharan air into the body of a hurricane may actually increase rainfall amounts in the outer rain bands. Researchers are still investigating, but for the most part, Saharan air and hurricanes don't get along.